time for our next guest. All we've heard for the last few months on the music scene is Miley, 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 twerk, Miley, tongue, Miley, kinda skanky, Miley. Behold your palate cleanser. This young lady knocked Ms. Cyrus off the top of the iTunes chart and the Billboard chart in the US. She's only 16, she's from New Zealand, and her name is Lord, with an E. You can call me creepy. Her hit, Royals, has catapulted Lord onto the world stage. She's appeared on countless TV shows, has celebs tweeting up a storm about her, and you really know you've made it when there's more YouTube covers of your song than you can poke a stick at. Please welcome Ella Yelich O'Connor, aka Lord. <laughs> welcome to the project. We're so stoked to have you here. Now, number one on um, you, American Billboard charts. We knew about that, but you've just gone number one on UK iTunes. Mm -hmm. I just met your folks before the show. How weird has all this been? Mm. <laughs> pretty weird because it's happened quite fast as well like I went to the US just over a month ago and no one cared who I was and <laughs> now I yeah. go and you know so you're saying care, to the, all so. the kids out there just go to America in a month it'll all happen <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. What I'm <laughs> one record. That's all good. So, what's the story? Like, like it's. How did you get to this now? Obviously, everyone in the world loves you and knows you now. But how did you get there? Well, I've been writing music since I was like 12 or 13, just um, mucking around with people and doing vocal coaching and stuff. And then I started working with Joel Little, my co-writer now, uh, and we just started making stuff. It just happened and. Here we are. You were given time to make it. This yeah. wasn't something where you were asked to produce something overnight and then off you go. You were given time to create it and craft it. and Yeah, which I think is so incredible for a record company to do. Mm. I'm so lucky to have had time. It still hasn't you... taken you long though. You're only 16, so you've got to do it. <laughs> How do your friends go back home, like at school and, you know, some of them are in your film clips too. Yeah, yeah. Um, they get heaps of girls now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, my friends are super supportive and really stoked for me and they come to my shows and stuff which is cool now i mean obviously uh, i was on youtube today and you're you you the viewings just go up by hundreds of thousands just in, in minutes your stuff and there's so many what do you think about all the imitations as well do you are you flattered by everyone trying to copy you or just yeah like, it's just all tributes really isn't it no it's cool it's so cool because you don't <laughs> well <laughs> um, i don't know like you don't think about other people knowing the words that you've written you know, like that's, that's such a strange thing, but it's so cool. Is it a bit it's like people singing along with you? Does yeah. it feel a bit like that? Well, every time that happens at a show, you're like, holy crap. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the wildest thing. It's so, so cool though. You're very sort of protective and I guess involved with um, your brand and, and the message just put out there and, you know, is that, is that harder and harder to do the more successful you get to still be in control and not have people making decisions around you for you? Um, I mean, it is a difficult thing, but because it's kind of been the way things have gone since I was like 12 or 13, you know, I always was super invested in how I was being portrayed and I think if you're like that from the beginning, um, people kind of get it and go along with it. Um, how hard do you think it'll be to stay like that? Because obviously you see how, yeah. well, I hope, let's I talk hope about, let's call them hard. train wrecks, you're not going to be a train wreck, but I mean, you're big now, you're Kids. huge, no, 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 I mean, you, I mean, no, 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 <laughs> the wonderful thing about you is you're, you're far more grounded than, it, than a 16 year old normally would be, and I'm, in my own personal experience, I was bad when I was 16, but I mean, how do you go from here, how do you make sure you stay yourself when you are so huge? Well, I've been working with the same kind of bunch of people since I was 12 or 13, so they're really good at telling me, you know, the stuff I need to hear. And I, I have three siblings and my whole family's really good at saying, you're not as cool as you think you are. <laughs> <laughs> and your dad's already had a taste of, your dad's already had a taste of fame, hasn't he? Yeah. My dad, yes. What was that? You told me that. What, what's his, what's his t claim to fame? Or what has his been his claim to fame? I think you're talking about the interviews that he did for Triple J and that sort of thing. No, I was talking about the fact you told me that the he looks that he, like me. The fact like that me. he looks like you. That's the real claim to fame. 
Oh, I can't help but feel that that visual joke wouldn't have worked better if he'd been here. He is but, here, uh, actually. Well, he's here. Oh, he's here. here. Oh, oh, we need to stay. Oh, easy, no. come on. Put it where, where's Dad? Where are you, Where is? Yeah. 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 Well, you've got one more shot of Dad. Come on, Dad. How are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Our heroine is out now. Would you please thank Lord? <laughs>